Serbian recently unveiled their modernization program for their aged M84 tanks, and the modernized vehicle is called M84 AS1, which is also the designation given to a vehicle presented a couple of years ago. But it's not unusual for Serbia to give same designation multiple times. <laughs> which you will see for yourself later in the video. The modernized vehicle is said to have 9 new or improved systems and subsystems, and the second phase is currently in development which should bring the number of the improved systems to 12. Before we go any further, a quick word from my sponsor, War Thunder, which is also a game I quite like playing myself. War Thunder is a military vehicle combat online game. It is free to play on PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Not to mention that it is cross-platform between PC and consoles. The game features an incredible arsenal of more than 1500 historically accurate playable tanks, aircraft, helicopters and ships from 1930s to 1990s. Best thing about the game are its realistic physics and one of the most detailed and most immersive vehicle damage models in gaming. If you use my link to register, you will receive a bonus a premium vehicle, tank, aircraft or ship, as well as 3-day account boost. The game is completely free, so you can start playing immediately. On the first glance, M84 AS1 appears to be very good, and very good looking. First and most obvious difference is the presence of new explosive reactive armor on the tank. The explosive reactive armor is allegedly M19, but that has not been confirmed by any official sources to my knowledge. But it is very likely to be the case, since the ERA appears to be thick and one plate might contain several M19 blocks, since M19 has comparable width and length to M99 and Contact 1. So it is not unlikely that, as I said, there are several of M19 blocks under one plate. M19 ERA has been first shown in 2019, and we even got to see the cutout. It appears to have one ERA panel on the top and one at the bottom, with a zigzag shape, which is made to work in a similar fashion to Ukrainian Noj explosive reactive armor. As a matter of fact, this ERA appears to be similar to the 80s Soviet Gofr ERA, which was a predecessor to Ukrainian Noj, which was claimed to be more effective than Contact 5 by itself. The Serbian one, on top of that, has an additional panel. The ERAs claim to work against all current types of threats, including APFSDS, tandem-shaped heat and top attack munitions. From available documentation, the ERA of M84 AS1 has been tested and proved successful against 3BM42 Manga. But 3BM42 is kinda old, I mean it is still used by many countries, but does not represent actual performance of most modern projectiles. The ERA appears to be good, but that is not what I have a problem with. The main issue when it comes to the protection of M84 AS1 is the base armor of the tank. Serbia operates M84 and M84A tanks, mostly M84s, and the base armor of both tanks is obsolete. M84 has a pretty bad base armor dating from mid-70s, and M84A got the same armor as T-72M1 based on a license received from the USSR to produce that kind of armor. T-72M1 is literally a T-72A tank, which came out in 1979, so the base armor at best is from late 70s, composed of two steel plates with textilite inserts in the hull and a ceramic filler, most likely quartz, in the turret cavity. So, the ERA would need to be very effective if M84 AS1 has any chances of sustaining a hit from modern APF SDS projectiles. Nevertheless, the ERA coverage is possibly one of the best I've seen and definitely beats most Russian tanks in that regard. The tank also appears to have laser warning receivers on each side of the turret, which means that the crew is warned when the tank is being painted by a laser rangefinder or laser guided missiles. Commander got a lot of new toys to play with with introduction of Commander's independent thermal viewer and remote weapon station with its own thermal imager. Before, M84 tanks did not have any remotely operated machine guns since they were heavily based on T-72 tanks. But now, this puts to shame the latest modernization of Russian T-72, T-72 B3 model 2016, which lacks both CATV and remote weapon station. 
The CATV of M84AS1 appears to be Belarusian PKP-MRO. Uh, the thermal system of this site can detect tank-sized targets up to 7 km and has a 4 km recognition range. It should go without saying that the site can rotate 360 degrees. The remote weapon station is said to have a separate fire control system and thermal imaging system. I assume the thermal system is the same as the one of the panoramic site, but I could be wrong. It is also likely that the tank received a display panel for the commander, which displays tank position using GPS or GLONASS. There was no information disclosed whether the gunner site received a thermal channel, so we can assume that the site remains to be DNNS2, which was present since M84 entered service. The site is not bad, it has 3 and 7 time optical zoom, but it has integrated automatically and together with a new meteorological sensor should give good accuracy to the tank. It is worth noting that the DNS2 with thermal channel has been developed in Serbia, DNS2 TI, but it has been showcased only once to my knowledge. There is a chance that this site has been integrated since it is visually comparable to DNS2, at least on the tank's exterior. If it has not been integrated, I assume that it will be done in the second phase of development. As I already said, there is a new meteorological sensor, which is a good addition to the fire control system. Another addition are all-around low-light cameras, which are possibly used by the commander for 360 degrees observation in low-light conditions. Driver's position also appears to have received a night channel. It has been said that all positions of all crew members have been fully digitized, but what that exactly means I can't tell you, at least not until we get more information on the subject or interior photos of the new vehicle. The gun barrels are said to be replaced with new ones, probably upgraded ones, which would make sense since new APF SDS projectile is going to be used with this tank. The new projectile is M88, not to be confused with older APF SDS, M88 or M88 HEAT, yeah. The new M88 APF SDS is a direct clone of the Israeli M711-8 MK2 APF SDS which has been developed for tanks armed with 125mm guns. The penetration of the projectile is usually given as 500mm at 2km on a roll homogenous target. But Israeli military industry claims it has excellent performance against modern composite armors, but judging by its length, it is definitely not comparable to modern APF SDS projectiles. But for Serbia, it is good enough. There has been no information about any new heat projectiles, but it has been said that the tank will receive programmable high explosive fragmentation projectile, which should be similar to American AMP and Russian Telnik. Another problem with the vehicle is the mobility. After the collapse of Yugoslavia, Serbia was left with around 50 M84A tanks. The rest, which would be over 150, are M84. The difference between M84A and M84 is that M84 has old V46 engine used back in T72A, with only its 780 horsepower and 3090 Nm of torque which is pretty bad considering that the new ERA will probably increase the weight of the vehicle. M84A tanks have upgraded V46 TK engines with 1000 horsepower and around 4000 Nm of torque. This engine is pretty decent and would give the tank enough power with the increased weight. Currently, I would say their best option is to upgrade M84 tanks and in the meantime try to find some solutions for the engine improvement in older M84 tanks. There were some cheap improvements of the existing V46 engine which brought the power up to around 840 horsepower, but those have not been implemented in any active service tanks, so there is a chance that can be done to give the tanks a bit more power. If not, the tanks will suffer a lot in mobility and would be far from other modern tanks in that regard. I also want to know that there was also a 1200 horsepower engine developed a while ago and there are some rumors that we can expect something similar in the second phase of development, but I will not get my hopes too high up. Don't forget to check out War Thunder, where you can take control of many land, air or naval vehicles. Use the link from the description to get a premium vehicle and a 3 day account boost when you register. Remember, the game is completely free for PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Just download and play.
Overall, the tank appears to be pretty good. The protection improvements seem very good, but the bad base armor begs the question, is the protection good enough? Without additional information on the ERA, it is hard to tell. The firepower improvements brought the tank's firepower to more modern standards, but it is still not on par with the most modern ones. But that is the case with the majority of countries. The thing that made M84 stand out in the world of T-72 tank variants has always been its fire control system, and with this upgrade it brought that back with a new panoramic sight, excellent remote weapon station and other great improvements. If a thermal sight for the gunner is or becomes present on the vehicle, it would put the fire control system of the vehicle among the best in the world, which is a big step for a small country like Serbia. But the mobility is really problematic. On M84A tanks, not so much, but something seriously needs to be done about older M84 tanks, which make the majority in Serbian arsenal. The only thing that remains is to see how fast will they be pushing those upgrades, because that matters a lot as well. I mean, what good does upgrading your tanks do if it takes you like a decade to upgrade all of them? But we just have to wait and see, maybe it will all happen pretty fast. So who knows? That would be all, thanks for watching. If you like my content you can consider supporting me on Patreon, and if you can't, leave a like on the video or subscribe if you are new. It also helps a lot, and I'll see you all in the next video. Have a nice day.